Hello all beginners, all players who are coming back to Destiny 2, or just subscribers just checking my videos out. So in this video, I'll just be giving you a few essential tips for beginning players or coming back players, and yeah, I hope you find this helpful. Have a great day, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. See you guys in the video. I'm guessing your character looks like this. And you don't want him to be looking like this by the end of this video. And yeah, basically, you don't want any blues. You want all your things to be purple, or at least just to have one exotic. So basically, if you're wondering how to get better gear and better looking gear, you're gonna have to do a couple of missions and all that. And in the beginning, you have a quest called New Light. So basically, you enter to this planet called Cosmodrone, and basically, he makes you do a couple of missions, this guy, Sean Han. And basically, in the start, it tells you everything to do throughout all the missions and all that. And basically, after you do that first mission, you're going to have to come up to this guy, and you're just gonna have to, you know, Affirmative. just get all these bounties. And you're gonna have to get to this lost sector, which I will show you how to right now. So basically, you might be wondering how to get there fast. If you're a warlock, you can basically just fly over there and a titan as well so warlocks and titans can fly hunters can only triple double jump but hunters are the main class for pvp and titans and warlocks are for pve so warlocks are made of like a healer class titans are like tanks and hunters are basically the ones who do a lot of damage, but Titans and Warlocks can still do a lot more damage. So you just want to go to this broken road. Glide over here, or double jump, or triple. And yeah, you want to go in there. Inside this little crack. There should be a flag here or here. So basically, Lost Sectors are little mini missions which you have to go through, and at the end, there should be like a mini boss. And you, if you want to do a bit of Lost Sectors, you, you should know you're in there because it would say Lost Sector discovered, or there should be these signs like a cave. So, yeah. That's how you get to this lost sector from the second mission. So you kill a bit of enemies and yeah, after you kill them, you have to go do another mission which directs you how to do everything. And yeah, that should be it. That should take you like two or one hour. And yeah, you shouldn't worry much about that. And then yeah, that's what happens at the beginning. So now let's get to the second part. So now we're going to be talking about inventory and what to do on a director. So right now you just want to worry about the quest tab, the map, and destinations. Don't worry about the roster, season 13, and star. You just want quests, map, and destinations. Those are the me. Those are the key points for the beginning players. And right now, you just want, um, tr you, you don't want triumphs and collections, you just want character and inventory. And yeah, for inventory, basically, it's all your resources you have gathered. Some of the resources are useless, like unstable charge of light. You can't do anything with it. And yeah. Like finest matter weave, that 
gives you like powerful stuff which I'll be talking about later in the video so yeah so basically where do where do you want to spend these resources you want to go to the tower and you want to go to the car yeah this is basically the main part of like the whole destiny too this is where you gather with people and you get your missions from and all that so yeah there's nothing much to worry about you get this place unlocked after you do all the missions from the start and yeah you go visit it and you go talk to some people and then Zavala gives you your first exotic quest for an exotic weapon the risk runner the risk runner is a decent exotic SMG it, when you shoot with it and you kill a few enemies like a double or triple kill then you shoot lightning strikes with it and it does a, a fair decent amount of damage but like you don't you, you you should equip it straight away because you're probably gonna have garbage guns so basically this thing's called prime engrams which it gives you purple loot and very good purple loot which you go collect over a master Ruhol, this guy and then to spend your resources don't worry about this you're just gonna have you're gonna have to buy these things which upgrade modules if you get a higher if you get a higher power level for example if I equip this and I had an upgrade module I could basically um, use it on this and then make this 1257 but then this will be gone forever but this will stay here as 1257 so you get upgrade modules by buying them with resources and yeah as you can see so basically this is the crucible guy the pvp person the crucible beckons, guardian. Will you answer? which basically he gives you rewards from playing the pvp game Then Zavala is the main person for the PvE. He gives you bounties for strikes and all that. And you get tokens for doing strikes and then you spend the tokens over here. And then you get a beautiful engram. Purple. They are called the Vanguard Tactican Rewards and Vanguard Tactican Tokens. So yeah. And then basically, this is this is Everest. This is basically the store which you have to pay with money for, exactly. And if you don't pick up any loot from any missions, and you forgot, and it drops somewhere else, and you don't know where it is, it goes over to your postmaster, KD fifty five thirty. So yeah, that's the tower explained. Now I'm going to tell you all about the different key game modes. And yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so the game modes. We have Vanguard, Gambit and Crucible. These are planets where you just go and do public events or you have a mission based on there. So basically the Tangled Shaw is for the DLC called Forsaken. And yeah the moon is for shadow keep another dlc and then for the third dlc we have europa for beyond light and this is how the game makes you spend the money if you don't get at least one of the dlcs and you do all your missions like the free ones then you have nothing to do so yeah so for the vanguard we have vanguard strikes what everybody can do you can get purples from this by just doing it three times. Pinnacle gear. Pinnacle gear is the best gear in the game. But there's different kinds of it. Some of them might be bad. 
So basically, then we have Night Falls, the harder version of Vanguard Strikes. There's a different strike each week, basically little missions, and yeah, we just give you loot. So basically, you have 1230, which is Adept, which gives you exotic gear rare, enchantment cards uncommon, and Nightfall weapons are rare. Nightfall weapons are basically the best weapons in the game. Exotic gear is the best rarity of gear, but you can only have one piece of exotic gear equipped and one exotic weapon equipped. Then we have Hero, Exotic Gear, Uncommon, Enchantment Cause Common, Enchantment Prisms Rare, Nightfall Weapons Uncommon, and then so on so on until everything is common except the Ascending Shards. And I'll be talking about what you have to do with them resources. And then we have the Grandmaster, which is a very very hard strike, which you need 1325 power for the season of the chosen but the recommended power is 1350 but you can do it when you're 1325 so yeah basically those are the strikes explained gambit is a pve pvp game mode basically you have to kill these enemies for these things called mods which is like a pyramid and then when you get pyramid when you get pyramids you deposit them into like a little bank it shows the bank in the middle of the map and there's a symbol above it so basically if you get five mods you have this thing called a small blocker 10 mods medium blocker 15 mods a giant blocker that basically blocks the enemies blank on the other side and then basically um if you have two blockers over there then you steal mods from their bank and if you die with mods you um all the mods get missing and you can't get them back so basically that's the gambit game mode explained crucible for the competitive we have iron banner and trousers of osiris trousers of osiris is a 3v3 elimination and iron banner is basically um control yeah control and basically if you win seven games without losing you get um you get like trials armor the best armor in the game iron banner you just have to play and do bounties and then you get iron banner armor for control survive so rumble is a free for all game mode first to get 20 kills i think and um, wins elimination is 3v3 first to five wins wins survival is ranked 3v3 so basically um you kill somebody but they can respawn each team has five respawns whoever um dies and loses all the respawns um loses and the other team wins first of three wins wins the match mayhem you get your super in five seconds and yeah it's a 6v6 it's basically mayhem like it's in the title and private match is basically a private match with your friends and yeah though these are the game modes explained and yeah let's get to the resources see you guys in the resources part so for the resources um we have to go into inventory so for enchantment cards um basically you can masterwork things with it and yeah if you get 10 enchantment cards and some planetary materials where you get materials out of planets it tells you where it goes like edg dusk light shards and yeah if you get 10 enchantment cards and with some planetary material materials with glimmer then you can get enchantment prisms and enchantment pris if you get an enchantment prisms with some planetary materials then you get the ascendant shard which is which basically you can masterwork gear with and uh basically buy exotics from the exotic archive basically the exotics where you can never get again and yeah it's at the tower next to your vault where you basically put the stuff for you want to save and yeah 
that's the resources that's explained, but we are finding this matter weave, which if you use it you, and you kill like a mini boss, you have a guaranteed one enchantment car. Rainmaker, basically, if you kill a mini boss, you get like a shower of glimmer. And then pure matter glass lens, if you use one of them, you kill a mini boss, you might get one mud component. And then with mod components you can buy mods for your gear and weapons like these which I've gotten so far and yeah also talking about resources you can get enchantment cards, enchantment prisms and a sending charge from the nightfalls and grandmaster nightfalls and yeah this is where you get your purple stuff from and exotics mostly of the time and basically for the planets you do these things public events which is basically a mini side mission which you do with random people and yeah you get a f free stuff of loot which is pretty cool and yeah those are for the resources so yeah I'll be showing you how to level up and how your character should be looking right now. Points where I've told you your character should be looking like this. Not totally, but you should not have any blues in your inventory. But also, if you keep a blue, then it's like it's like a bigger power level than your gun, for example, like 1269. Um, basically, you want to save it, even if you want to deconstruct it, even if it's a blue. If you keep it, then the next drop will be a higher power level drop. And yeah, basically, that's how you level up with power. It's random drops. And you, and if you want to, for example, um, if you want to keep a hand cannon, which you really like, for example, the bottom dollar, and you get a higher power level thing, then you want to use an upgrade module to, like, keep it going. And for the stats, like, you just have to read them yourself, you just have to hover over them and it basically tells you what it is but recovery for me is the best thing to have a bit of strength, a bit of intelligence, a bit of discipline just a bit of everything but you want recovery to be on 100 or over and then basically yeah I would say the titan is the best subclass for the whole game and yeah so basically that's how you level up and your character should be looking like this so yeah i hope you found this helpful so yeah bye